All right, hi everyone and welcome to the video. I wanna show you a small uh, API key that I developed in this uh, tutorial, uh, so let's get started. So this is the entire code. Basically, I did the web scraping on a website and I'm getting the weather data and I made my own API key from that. You know, that's crazy. You can do request.get and you can simply get the JSON data. So here you see, that's the, um, uh, I made an API key, uh, weather API, which is resource and you just need to pass in the zip code so once you pass in the zip code it's gonna return a json like object uh, so here is the data that it returns and this is the entire web scraping code and this is the api key the token that we you need to provide uh, in order to like access access um, this so uh if i come to postman and here i am i am on my local url so you can see slash weather slash the token and then the zip code so if i just say enter now it's loading and here you see you have the entire json like data so this entire code was developed in uh, python of course and um, soon i'm gonna uh, deploy this api key on uh, flask so people can use it uh, so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, so this is how you like create a really a practical api uh, keys for your uh, project so here you can see i'm calling the object i'm getting all the data then I'm creating a JSON dictionary and just returning the, the just returning the data. And this is the entire class that does the job. Then I define my API key here. You can see slash weather slash the token and string, which is a zip code. So whatever zip code you pass in, uh, which that will be taken here to this class that is 06604. And in Postman, you can see if I just say request dot get, uh, I get the data. So. I can also prove this uh, on my, just give me one more sec, I want to show you something cool. So even with like Python uh, request module, you can get data. Um, so just want to open up my IntelliJ uh, quickly and I want to show you a small demo out of it. So, so just wait for a second. All right, so maybe just gotta go to rest my REST API. All right. So now once I have the API key, um, the URL, so just gonna copy that. Now I wanna show you the possibilities how you can get data on your Python. So this is your nothing but your server which is gonna run 24 seven. Right now, if you wanna get the data here, let's say you are the client. So I can just say, let me zoom in a little bit. So import request. I don't know why my autocomplete is not working due to some reason. So import request. So I have the URL, remember URL with the API key. So this is the URL, this is the odd token that I have created for my project. So if I say um, R equals to request so it's kind of lagging right now because I, i'm simultaneously recording this video so i know it's a little irritating request so i'm gonna say request dot get url equals to url uh, print gonna print the response so if you get 200 that means uh, that's a good response uh, so if I just run this quickly uh, so here you see response is 200 now uh, if I want to get the text so if I just say simply text so it's gonna take time and here you see all the JSON data that I'm getting through my request URL um, I can also uh, specify, of course, the type. You just want to see what type it is. It's of course JSON. So, uh, so just run it quickly. Right now, you can see it's making a request on the server from this IP address. So, here you see it's it's making a request, get request, and here you see um, here you see it's making request. I know it's a string because I'm doing dot text, but if I do dot JSON. So if I run it now, of course it's gonna be a JSON object. So now again, it's gonna make a request on my server. You see, it's just got updated. 
the the IP address, the the person who is making the request. Now it's a dictionary because JSON is nothing but a dictionary. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, this is a pretty important uh, uh, tool how you can design really complex API keys. So I used web scraping techniques, then I made my own API. This is my server, which is running 24 seven. I'm gonna deploy it on uh, Heroku, and I'm gonna give you the API key for the, for the people who wanna use this API key, use it for free of cost, that's it. So that's it for the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if so, do give a like and support my channel, and I shall see you in the next video.